The most distant star ever seen has been detected by the Hubble Space Telescope. It's been nicknamed Irondale, and it lies 12.9 billion light years away. That means we're seeing it as it was when the universe was just 900 million years old, 6% of its current age. Normally it would be impossible to make out individual stars over such a vast distance, but Hubble was able to pick out Arendelle thanks to an effect known as gravitational lensing. This happens when a large mass, such as a cluster of galaxies, bends and focuses the light of more distant objects lying along the same line of sight. In this case, the lens has produced a crescent of light that's been dubbed the Sunrise Arc, and appearing as a little dot along this arc is Arendelle. The name comes from an Old English word meaning morning star, and is also used by Tolkien for a character who carried a star across the sky at the end of the first age of Middle-earth. There's much we don't yet know about Arendelle, for example its size. Its mass has been estimated to be at least 50 times that of the Sun, but it could be even bigger and it's quite possibly a binary consisting of two stars orbiting closely around each other. Astronomers also want to know about Arendelle's composition. Is it a pioneer star, also known as a population three star? One of the first generation of stars that formed out of the pristine material of the Big Bang. If so, it would be made purely of hydrogen and helium, but this seems unlikely because a star of at least 50 solar masses would run out of nuclear fuel after a million years or so. For a first generation star to still be around 900 million years after the Big Bang, it would have to have formed from a cloud of pristine matter that had somehow survived unpolluted in all that time. That seems unlikely. The odds are that it's made of matter that's been enriched with heavier elements such as carbon and oxygen, formed and released into space by earlier stars. Could perhaps Arendelle lie much closer to Earth? How about if the gravitational lens involved not some massive cluster of galaxies, but a much smaller and nearer lensing object such as a brown dwarf within our own galaxy. That seems very unlikely. The Sunrise Arc has been under observation now for five years, and in that time hasn't altered in appearance. If the effect were local, Arendelle would have changed relative position in the sky, at least to some extent. In the coming years, we'll learn more about Arendelle and other stars at the dawn of time, from a new generation of more powerful instruments, the first of which, the James Webb Space Telescope, will soon begin its observations of the early universe.